Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Lots of exciting things are happening around here. The basement bait shop is a happening place. I'm going to start pumping out uh, some rod building here, hopefully in the near future. You know, I've had a ton of you guys out there request me to do some rod building videos and, you know, want me to talk about the different rods that I build. And I got to tell you, I'll be working with mudhole.com who uh, supplies all the rod components that I use, the MHX blanks I get through there, the CRB custom rod building uh, products are all coming out of mudhole.com and I'm going to put together a bunch of videos throughout the year where I'll do a rod build for a specific type of bait that I use. So if it's my chatterbait rod, I'll do a rod build showing the chatterbait rod, showing the specs that I use to build the rod. And then we're going to head out on the water. I'm going to show you why I like that blank for the chatterbait fishing so that even if you don't build your own rods, you can still take what you've learned from the video and apply it to the brand of rods that you like to use and try to find the right chatterbait rod for you. So guys, I'm going to be pumping out a bunch of that stuff this summer. So stay tuned. If you've been asking for rod building videos, they will be coming. I can assure you there will be a whole bunch for the, uh, for the remainder of the year. Once we get some warmer weather here, which should hopefully be uh, another couple of months when the ice starts coming off, we'll definitely be able to do a bunch more of those. But I'll, I'll be doing some in the meantime too. So stick, stick with me on those. I've also mentioned before in the past how excited I am to see a bunch of the new products that are coming out. And I got a little delivery today. Uh, from Berkeley with a couple of new products. One I can't talk about. I wish I could talk about, and it is one of the most exciting baits I've seen in a while, and one that I really, really can't wait to uh, put on the water and, and use because the videos and the stuff that I've seen released from Berkeley to some of the pro staff anglers like myself has been pretty incredible, and I can't wait to uh, put it to use myself, and I'm really excited to have it in hand. Another bait that they produced that was in that package that I can talk about, though, was the uh, Edwin Evers designed Agent E, the little swim bait here. And I got to tell you guys, it's really impressive to hold in my hand for the first time. Uh, yes, it is similar style to the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper, which I think a lot of you guys have found to be very, very, uh, a very, very productive bait. The thing here, though, is... This is so much more versatile and comes in a ton of different sizes and super realistic colors. Uh, you know, I've, I've been a fan of the Dark Sleeper for a while, so I'm excited to use this, especially up here in the North Country. The smallmouth love that bottom-dwelling bait, swim bait style uh, lure, which is what this is. You know, it's almost more of a jig than it is a swim bait. And in this case, the Agent E comes with this heavy fluorocarbon uh, leader, I believe it's a heavy fluorocarbon, not leader, a heavy fluorocarbon weed guard. So because of that, it really increases the versatility of this bait to the point where it's recommended to be more of a jig. It is a phenomenally good skipping bait. So if you wanna skip it back under docks, if you wanna skip it back under bushes, uh, the Agent E is gonna be a killer bait in a different presentation that a lot of fish are used to seeing a jig in those areas, but now you're going to be able to skip this guy back in there. And I, you know, without having my hands on it, I was a little skeptical that the weed guard would act that well, but I feel very confident that this is going to be a very weedless bait. Now, if you don't want to throw it back into those areas, uh, you know, like this one right here, I cannot wait to use. This is the HD Gobi color. This is one of the most realistic goby looking baits I've seen. They even, I don't know if you can see it, but there's even like that uh, purplish hue that runs down the bait, which is one thing that a lot of goby colors, I don't feel like uh, replicate the actual goby very well. At least the fish that we have here, like in Sturgeon Bay and this end of the Great Lakes are very light colored tan with the black spots. And then there's a, a like a violet hue in them. And this bait has it exactly the way I would want it. So I'm excited to get out and try this on the Great Lakes where the gobies are at because I really do think it's going to work great. You know, we've seen the uh, other similar styled baits 
excel in the Great Lakes and where they're smallmouth. And I'll tell you, in that case, I'm just going to end up probably cutting the weed guard off because really, if you get stuck, it's not going to be because of the hook. You're getting stuck because you get wedged inside of a couple of rock cracks. So there's not much reason if you're going to be throwing this in open water to need the weed guard. So I would recommend just taking your, you know, your needle nose pliers and snipping that off just to prevent any sort of hookup uh, or uh, any uh, prevent any sort of unneeded uh, weed guard in that deep water when you're fishing for the smallmouth. So I can't wait to get it out there. I'm really impressed with the sizes too. They sent me a bunch of different sizes and the colors are great. This is the one ounce size. And I do like how they label, you probably can't see it, but on the tail, it says one ounce. Uh, so you, you know what size you're throwing, which is a nice little feature, but they come in all different sizes. This is the three quarter ounce. This is their HD bluegill. You can see that. And then this little guy though, I think is going to be an absolute killer. This is a two and a quarter inch. This is the HD gizzard shad color. It's a two and a quarter inch, tiny little swim bait. I, I just think this is going to be killer for all different species. So as somebody that guides small swim baits can be great. And to have that weed guard built in just makes my life as a guide that much easier. Cause if you are fishing around a dock or weeds or lay downs, you're not going to be getting stuck nearly as much. Just as a reference, I feel like I probably here, this is a 3.3 uh, swim bait. So you can see, you know, it, this is truly two and a quarter inches. And it is a really small compact bait. The crappie are going to love that. The perch are going to love it. I could see catching a ton of walleye up here in the river when the spring run's going that have a nice uh, lead weighted swim bait to stay down in the current is going to be really good. I'm excited to use these. I got to tell you, when I first saw it, you know, I, I was like, yeah, I think that's going to be a role that I can fill in terms of fishing deep open water kind of not real snaggy type stuff but after looking at it and seeing the weed guard on it i just feel like this is such a versatile bait because you're going to be able to use it as a jig through cover because i'm telling you this weed guard is going to work great you'll be able to use it through cover and you know through rock whatever it is and, and you're going to be able to present it in areas where you're not normally able to present opened hooked swim baits and in this case, I, I think I think you're going to hear some news about this coming around some dock fishing. I just think guys are going to be skipping this back into certain areas that don't normally see a swim bait. And that's going to give them an advantage over maybe a normal jig. But guys, I'm excited to see it. Lots of other cool stuff coming out from Berkeley. I know this sounds like a, a plug video, but I got to tell you, I'm so excited to be working with them because they are coming out with some awesome baits that are filling uh, holes for me that I didn't normally have or that they didn't normally have. And the products that they're coming out with to fill those holes in their lineup are really, really impressive. Like they're not skipping, you know, on anything. The colors are great. The products are great. And I got to tell you, after being involved with them and seeing the process that they actually go through to test these baits, it really is truly scientific where they're taking the baits and measuring them just like somebody in a hospital would be measured. I mean, they're, it's like they're counting tail thumps per minute and how fast things start up and just various sync rates with all the different models that they're testing until they come up with something that they feel truly works the best. And when I say works the best, it's because they're comparing it to how fish are reacting to it. So I think it does give you the leg up. The Berkeley stuff has really, really been impressive of late. And this is a bait that I think we're going to hear quite a bit when we make a northern swing. And I think you're going to hear quite a bit about it once like the dock fishing bite starts up. Uh, just because it's it's something different that the fish haven't seen. So guys, when they become available, check them out. The Agent E, I will be giving you updates on it as I start using them once I head to open water down south for some of my tournaments or the ice comes off here. But check them out. It's the Berkeley Power Bait Agent E. I think we're going to be hearing a lot about it. I probably should have included it in my baits for 2022 because it's a lot more impressive in person than I was expecting. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. New videos coming out tomorrow.